so as we were discussing earlier the problem is is that you essentially have keynotes and you have she note sheet notes you want them on the same sheet and essentially you'd like to use the keynoting feature for all of that okay but if you you probably know all this already but Revit will not allow you to reference more than one keynote file so let's kind of talk about this overall and I know some of these concepts may or may not be new to you so if I'm repeating some things that you already know uh, forgiveness in advance but I just want uh, to make sure that you understand everything that's being done so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the annotate tab go to the tag panel to see what keynote file is currently being used in the keynoting settings and right now as you can see here I've got a Revit keynotes imperial text and this is actually just copied from the out-of-the-box directory with the uh, construction index uh, departments and 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 notes so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and I believe that's the system that you folks are using and what I'll do here is I'll click on the keynote and we we'll are use an element keynote and let's go ahead and maybe keynote the the casework here so I'll hover over the casework and place the keynote and again this may not be anything new to you I'll just go ahead and pick something here I'm not going to spend too much time finding exactly the right category so I'm just gonna pick something here and then maybe uh, what else do we have here maybe we'd go ahead and keynote one of these windows so let me pick uh, a window here and again we will just choose the what seems about right here doors and windows and windows and I'm just gonna pick something in here okay so basically what we've done is we've added element keynotes and just so you understand element keynotes essentially what they do is they go into the type properties of the particular element and it adds that particular keynote to the type properties of you know the element so that way every time you keynote this window type in the project it'll come up now with the same keynote okay so a couple quick examples now let's say we want to go ahead and keynote individual items for example a door a tree an architectural column something like that so in this case we want this to just say one remove architectural column two tree you know remove tree or whatever whatever we want to do with our typical sheet notes okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a keynote file so let me let me go ahead and start up a little notepad session just a little text file that's all these keynote files are and I'm going to type in one tab and then uh, remove column that's the the text essentially and just hit enter two you know eat tree <laughs> okay and then three uh, move door okay so it's just some notes here and I'll go ahead and save this as or save it and we'll put it in this directory here and we're just gonna call it um, our sheet notes and then hit enter so that's the name of uh, uh, this text file I'll go ahead and close that and then in the tag pull down here go to keynote settings and then I'll browse out essentially for this our sheet notes okay and then click OK here so now when I go ahead and place a user keynote for these items and that's typically what we'd be doing for these maybe these sheet notes right not necessarily something you want to refer to every architectural column or just certain ones that you pick you know so there we go remove column there's note number one you know go ahead and hover over the tree here do the same thing eat tree and then we'll do the door later okay now let's go ahead and actually create the keynote schedule or legend in this case I'll just right click on the legends part of the browser and create a new keynote legend and we'll call this keynotes click OK and keynote legends are essentially very simple schedules that have two fields can't add any more to them and then I'll go ahead and click OK and notice that we have all four keynotes but a couple of the keynotes and the text are blank and that's because Revit can only refer to one keynote 
schedule or one keynote text file at the time. For example, if I go back to my annotate tab, go down to the tag panel here and keynote settings and then browse out and refer back to uh, this original keynote file, click OK. Notice that the uh, the keynote text for keynotes one and two go away, but I get the keynote text for the other two items that I placed earlier. So the idea is we want all that information to show up. So essentially all we need to do is essentially append or marry these two files together to be in one single text file. So to do so, I'm going to go to Windows Explorer here. So bear with me here while I pull up a Windows Explorer. And essentially I'm going to take the biggest text file. I'm going to just take this and copy it. And then paste it right here and we'll rename it and I'm going to call this keynotes dash sheet notes the idea being that all our notes are basically in that same file and I'll open it and you'll kind of get an idea of you know it's a pretty large file with a lot of entries in it but it's pretty simple straightforward format what I'll do here is I will then sorry about that go ahead and bring that back okay here we go and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy our sheet notes essentially into this file. Okay, so I'm going to just create a couple lines here, paste these in. Now, typically, we want to have these kind of headed together, grouped together. So there's just a little bit more formatting that we'll want to do to have these in here. So I'm going to basically call this uh, uh, sheet notes, and that's going to be the group header and I'm going to hit the tab button here and we'll call the I'll just say that this is our our uh, company keynotes okay and then here basically what we need we basically are adding a third column here and all of this can be done by the way in Excel it doesn't have to be done in the text editor it might be a little bit easier sometimes to do in Excel uh, hopefully you'll know how to do that and I'm just going to tab over from remove column here and type in sheet notes because basically what I want is all these to be grouped together in that particular uh, grouping and uh, basically what this do is just it creates this tree structure in the uh, keynotes dialog so basically I've gone ahead and added these the our, our sheet notes here I'll save this file and then the next step here in our uh, in our project is to make sure that we are now referring to that merged file. So I'll browse out for that keynotes dash C notes, the one we just created, and I'll click OK. And notice that now all the the keynotes uh, appear. And if I go back to my floor plan here, and let's say I wanted to go ahead and add that keynote for the door, I'll use an do a user keynote here, hover over the door, and then expand sheet notes. That's why I did that little extra formatting so I get this nice little tree structure. Otherwise it's just going to be at the top of this little keynotes dialog and I'll go ahead and add that. So now you know we've got our plan keynoted up but the next thing we'll need to do is we need to basically have two different keynote schedules or legends. So that's where the filtering will come in. So I'll go to my legends uh, branch of the tree here and I'm going to duplicate this keynotes view because right now everything's in the same legend and we essentially want uh, the you know our user keynotes or our our sheet notes separate from our you know what we traditionally think of keynotes that reference uh, the, the CSI so I'm going to uh, duplicate this view and I'm going to rename this copy of keynotes to if I can find the rename here I'm going to call it uh, sheet notes Okay, and we'll leave the other ones named the same way. And with the sheet notes, basically I want uh, everything, you know, the one, two, three, four, I want those all grouped together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a filter to the sheet notes uh, legend. And I'm going to say filter by keynote value, which is this right here. And keynote value will be essentially less than and you just kind of look at the values that are available you know and typically it's going to be less than 1000 right because that's the lowest uh, index number that you would have and I'll go ahead and click OK and notice that it filters away those others I click on the other keynotes schedule and I would basically do the opposite filter 
I'd come over here, keynote value is greater than, you know, 1,000, and click OK. And so now I get these keynotes to show up. Now, let's place everything on a, on a sheet. So I'll go to uh, create a new sheet here. Take everything nice and default. Let's place that view on the sheet. Okay. And let's place our keynote legends. Okay. So in this case, we've got the, like your format for your firm. I believe it's up here. So keynotes up here. And obviously, you know, there's a lot of formatting you can do here to make this look a little bit more like you're you're wanting it to look, but that I figure you can probably figure that out on your own just by going into the properties of the schedule. And then let's go ahead and add our sheet notes in here as well. And basically we've got, you know, all our keynoting done. Okay, so again, hopefully that's pretty straightforward. If you've got any other questions, just let me know.